video, we're just going to go over um, a starter kit that I created called Create React App Apollo. What this starter kit does is it just connects the uh, Create React App project along with the React Apollo project. And the React Apollo is just a high order component for the Apollo client, uh, which allows us to communicate with GraphQL in a, in a uniform way. Um, instead of React Apollo, you may have heard of Relay or Relay Modern. Those are just an alternative uh, implementation with GraphQL inside of your React apps. But I'm going to be using uh, the Apollo client um, throughout this tutorial. Um, so in this very first video, we're just going to connect them both and create a new application using the Create React app. Now, if you haven't already, um, you will need to run npm install globally uh, the Create React app. What this will allow you to do is run Create React app example app, for example, and this will allow us to create a project. It will bootstrap our application. So we haven't got to configure any Babel or Webpack. It just gives us a nice starting point and that's done what we're going to do is just change directory and we're going to move into example app and we're going to open that in atom first of all uh we're going to need to install um the react apollo node module uh information about that can also be found um in this repo here so we're using yarn instead of npm and once that's installed, there we go. Um, we're now able to run npm uh, or yarn start. This will open our browser, um, default localhost 3000, and there we are. This is our welcome to React, our create React app example index page. What I like to do um, now is I like to open up index.js, and inside of here, this is where I'll normally configure the Apollo client this is the one of the highest places that uh, apollo can live it, it needs to wrap our application so our application has access to our graphql layer and our apollo queries and mutations uh, we will learn all about that as we uh, move into the next video but um in here we need to import some create um uh, react apollo modules and we're going to import Oops, Apollo provider, I'll call it client and create network interface from React Apollo. Cool. So with that created, uh, next we're going to create a constant called network interface. And this will allow us to define where our GraphQL uh, endpoint is. So I'm going to use an environment variable for this. Uh, I'd suggest that you do too. So you haven't got to update your um, uh, code at any point in the future to change your URI and you're not publishing it to um, source code, things like that. Um, it's just a lot easier to manage if you use environment variables. Uh, next, we're going to create a client const and that is going to just be new Apollo client. And inside of here is when we give it our work interface. Um, you may think, hmm, why, why have you not put in a key value like this, like you normally would? But if you're using ES uh, 2015 and above, you do not need to do that. You can just pass in network interface once and mirror to be uh, a key value pair. So next, uh, data ID from object. That will, um, it's just very simple. Um, object uh, is assigned to an ID, so everything's unique in our in our React Apollo instance. We'll go into this a little bit uh, later on in a bit more in detail. Um, what we will do is we will connect if we have installed our Apollo Dev Tools. And if we're in development, um, it will uh, go and connect to our Dev Tools extension. Um, However, if we're not, it will not do anything because uh, this will evaluate a false. So that is pretty much all we need to do for the configuration. Next, we just need to tell our application using the higher order component uh, where our client is. And we can simply pass it like this and 
there we go uh, our application will now know about it so um, what we don't have is this here um, create react GraphQL URI well, let's create a file called env and this is where we're going to place our URI for GraphQL now I'm going to use a service called GraphQL and what you'd want to do is just pop to graph.cool and you will um, be able to sign up for this. Um, GraphQL is a service, uh, it's a GraphQL backend as a service, and it just allows you to get started and have a, a, set, a hosted GraphQL backend without you having to do it. We're just gonna focus on the front end in this in the, in the next video. Um, but if you've got an account or you haven't, click on login or sign up. Uh, you can log in with GitHub or Google or your email and password. These guys are, have uh, done a great thing at just getting you going. So what we're going to do for this project, we're just going to create a new project. And we're going to call this um, example react app. You can name this whatever you like. Create that project. And we'll get two um, system types as by default. Um, but you don't need to worry about this right now. All we need to do is pop down to endpoints. And the simple endpoint is what we're after. Copy that to our clipboard. And back over in Atom, we paste that into our env file. Um, I also, um, you may want to also add env to your git ignore so those aren't published. And there we go. The code is now ready to roll. Um, let's just stop that and run yarn start again. And our browser will open. And we shouldn't see any errors this time. We should just see that welcome to React page. If we open up our dev tools, and if you have the Apollo uh, client installed, what we should be able to do, uh, just open this up here and everything should look good. There shouldn't be any errors. Um, that's all working fine. You'll also see if you open up the network tab that um, we've just got some um, requests going out to our API. So you kind of see that it's working. Um, if there's nothing in your console, there's no errors appearing, everything should be should be good to go. Um, we'll get a two okay response back from our request method there to see if it's kind uh, of can, can accept our request. So um, that's all for this tutorial. Um, that we've shown you how to get started with Create React App and the React Apollo libraries, and also register and sign up and connect in GraphQL. Next video, we will um, create some types within GraphQL, and we will try and display a list of items on uh, on the chair. So that's all for now. Have a great day.